On the ninth day of Ashmas Ash Down Baby gave to me. Rating Twisted Wonderland Dorm Rooms. Hello hello. I have decided that I am going to make a low effort video. So, today, I will be sharing my thoughts on the NRC students dorm rooms, as well as ranking the likelihood that I would ever sleep in there. Also gonna be trying to find as many hidden mickeys as I can. So, let's jump into it. Riddle's room is very clean, but I feel like it's too clean. Like I feel like this is the place you sit down all poised on the little lava seat and just do not move. He has a significant amount of books. Like, are these all encyclopedias? Why does he need that many? His bed looks very comfy though, so I'll give him that. I would be afraid to sleep in here. I looked for like 5 minutes and I cannot find a Mickey. The vibes in Ace's room are pretty good. This is where you go when you wanna chill with friends and just goof off. The party room trademark. I'm curious about how he uses the basketball hoop. Is he chilling on Deuce's bed and shooting the ball? How does this work? I would 100% have a sleepover in here. Also, found a Mickey. Deuce also has excellent vibes. Loving the posters. I'm just noticing the rose lamps on their desks and oh my god they're so cute I want one. I'm living for the tabs sticking out of these books. Precious baby is studying so hard. Love him so much 10 out of 10 would sleep here. I found the Mickey, and a dog. This is so comforting, I'm not sure how I feel about the bright ass orange, but I love it anyway. His room has so much personality and I adore it. These little dudes are so freaking cute. Look at this clover look at it now. Everything over here is so slash pos. I have located the Mickey. This shade of green is so nice. This is my room now, sorry Trey. The glasses organizer has me wheezing what a nerd. The hats too, Trey said, Milady tips fedora. I would definitely sleep here, maybe even on the rug because that rug looks comfortable as hell. I can't find any Mickeys in here. Leona, my room is a far cry from clean but at least my messes are relatively contained. Yours is just everywhere, pick up your damn clothes. Love you though please don't eat me Mr. Lion Man. Also, how the hell is this plant alive cause you know full well Leona does not take care of it. Don't tell me it's another thing he makes rug if or do. Mickey is in the walls oh no. Something about Jack's room is so nice. Except the cacti, I would probably impale my side on them coming in the door. Scoop them over just a bit and we're good though. Man's got muscle milk just chilling here and honestly I vibe with it. I have smacked myself in the face with these things on more than one occasion. Overall, very nice, would sleep here. There's a mouse in the walls. Ruggiford has nothing and I would give him so many things. Love his lil Pumbaa though, something about Savannah Claus rooms are so nice and I love them. 10 out of 10 Ruggie let me buy you so many decorations we can get whatever you want. Mickey's trying to hide behind the wardrobe. Another room that I am terrified to touch anything in. All of these could probably end my life. That is a fish skeleton, help. These are really cute though. I like them a lot, the safe by his bed either has contracts or a dead body in it. His bed looks so nice though, like this is a nice bed. 5 out of 10 I'm afraid, Mickey's trying to take a nap next to Azul's bed. This is the bedroom of someone who does not experience attachments. I am aware he does, but why is it so empty? The only possessions he has are these. I feel like if I breathe the wrong way, I am going to meet my ancestors. The only sign of life is the slightly wrinkled rug. 2 out of 10 I'm scared of Jade. Mickey thought he was sneaky on this one. Oh my god, I would rather sleep on Jade's side. I I have no words, does he enjoy the feeling of the ants crawling on him as he tries to sleep? These cookies are going to fall. Based on the disarray, Floyd is a rough sleeper, and he has probably knocked his various snacks off onto him in his sleep several times. I can feel all the crumbs, not sleeping here. I had found the Mickey but lost it again so ah. Uh, woo. Now this, this is where I want to be. Everything about Callum's room just makes me so happy. This bed looks so comfortable. I feel like I could spend hours here having the best conversations. You know that view is probably the greatest thing too. This is the one, 100 out of 10 I am moving in. Hello Mickey. Jumils is absolutely amazing too. Unplug those headphones, lock the door, and crank up the volume because we are gonna have a two person dance off. Show me up king I cannot dance. What are these shoes hanging on? 
I'm confused. I am staying here and he cannot make me leave. The crystal ball is showing me Mickey in my future. Why do the house wardens insist on having rooms that scare me? Bill is the kind of person that absolutely intimidates me, so being in his room would terrify me. I feel like these weights are comically oversized though. Ayo a yoga ball, I'm gonna roll it out into the center of the room, lay on my stomach on it, and pretend I can fly. That's always fun, his bed looks so nice though, so I'm gonna say yes I would sleep here but I would be scared while I sleep. This Mickey was so hard to find. Apple and I are from the same place also known as the sticks so I very heavily resonate with this. That quilt was made by his great grandma, I know because I have so many that were made by mine. The whole family giving you a ridiculous amount of food thing too, yup that's accurate. This pillow is precious, and the rug too. I need this lamp, it can go next to my rose one from Hearts Love Yule. I'm staying here and we can talk in country so no one understands us. Mickey hid from me very well on this one. I, uh, no, look, I like people watching as much as the next person but this is a bit extreme. What the actual fuck is this? This is highly concerning, like it looks like he is just ready to go, open up his window and just not draw loose. I vibe with Rook, but absolutely not his room I will be hunted for sport if I enter. Also couldn't find Mickey. Now this, this right here looks the most like my room. I have a lot of wires, but I try to keep them out of the way. His actually feel like they're a bit of a fire hazard. Igea himself is a fire hazard. Unlike Igea, my boxes go in my closet. Got things hanging on my walls too. Whatever this is I want one, honestly, I wish I had this much manga. If we could just pick up the stuff on the floor and get some better wire management, this would be pretty nice. M-I-C-K-E-Y. I can't decide if this feels like a dungeon or a very nice, relaxing place. This little dude is cool, I'm gonna call him Dave. The dragon is a little bit intimidating, but also kinda cool. These are absolutely adorable, a present from Bat Dad. This rug looks like it came from Sims 3 though. Overall pretty okay, I'd spend a night or two here. Found the mouse. Please tell me he does not sleep with those alarm clocks right next to his head. Surely he doesn't, and the birds? They would poop everywhere, I do quite enjoy the present from Bat Dad though. And I just know this picture is of Dia family. But still, I'm not sleeping with alarm clocks and birds. I love my stepson and the vibes in his room are very calming but I'm not gonna stay in here Lameo. I couldn't find Mickey here. Something about Sebek's room makes me giggle. I'm not sure if it's the picture of Malleus, the little baby dumbbells, or whatever this is. You probably can't tell where his hair ends and the pillow begins because this man probably sleeps as straight as a pencil. Mickey tried to hide, but I found him this time. Lilia's room is honestly so jarring when you look at it compared to the other Dia family boys. His bat is crooked, so now I'm convinced he gave the bats on top of their wardrobes to the others and that is so slash pos. What is this red thing? Is it from scary monsters because if so that's precious. He matches, with his sons. Lilia Babe don't sleep with the guitar. Not the bagpipes please. Uh oh, he a gamer boy. Oh god another not draw loose man. I could keep going on about Lilia's room. Mickey is in here somewhere, but I couldn't find him. And now, for some awards. The award for most comforting room goes to. Callum, the award for the room most like mine goes to. Igea, the award for the room that strikes the most fear in my heart goes to. Jade, the award for the room with the most happening in it goes to. Lilia, the award for the messiest room goes to. Floyd, the award for best overall room goes to. Apple, that's all I have for you today. But, on the 10th day of Ashmas Ashdown baby gave to me. Night Raven Island Q&A and behind the scenes.